Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay and with me is Anuja Kumar with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches world's largest COVID-19 vaccination drive in the country. India's fight against COVID-19 is one of self-confidence and self-reliance asserts Prime Minister. COVID-19 recovery rate improves to 96.56% in the country. 51st International Film Festival gets underway in Goa in a short while from now. And in cricket, it stumps India with 62 for 2 on day 2 of the 4th cricket test match at Brisbane. Rain disrupts play. As the nation fights the COVID-19 pandemic, we begin with a message of precaution to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain two gas ke duri for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. Now the news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said India's COVID-19 vaccination campaign is based on very humane principles and those exposed to maximum risk get priority. ऐसी ही उपलब्धियों के लिए राष्ट्रकवि रामधारी सिंह दिनकर जी ने कहा था मानव जब जोर लगाता है पत्थर पानी बन जाता है भारत का टीकाकरण अभियान बहुत ही मानवीय और महत्वपूर्ण सिद्धांतों पर आधारित है जिसे सबसे ज्यादा जरूरी है उसे सबसे पहले कोरोना का टीका लगेगा जिसे कोरोना संक्रमण का रिस्क सबसे ज्यादा है उसे पहले टीका लगेगा जो हमारे डॉक्टर्स हैं नर्सेस हैं अस्पताल में सफाई कर्मी हैं मेडिकल पैरामेडिकल स्टाफ हैं वो कोरोना की वैक्सीन के सबसे पहले हकदार हैं चाहे वो सरकारी अस्पताल में हो या फिर प्राइवेट में सभी को ये वैक्सीन प्राथमिकता पर लगेगी Launching world's largest COVID-19 vaccination program through video conferencing, Mr. Modi stressed that this type of large-scale vaccination campaign has never before been run in history. Sathyo, is Tika Karan Abhiyan ki pukta tayyayo ke liye Rajya Sarkaro ke sahiyog se desh ke kone kone mein trials kiye gaye hain, dry runs huye hain, vishesh taur par बनाए गए कोविन डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म में टीकाकरण के लिए रजिस्ट्रेशन से लेकर ट्रैकिंग तक की व्यवस्था है आपको पहला टीका लगने के बाद दूसरी डोज कब लगेगी इसकी जानकारी भी आपके फोन पर दी जाएगी और मैं सभी देशवासियों को ये बात फिर याद दिलाना चाहता हूं कि कोरोना वैक्सीन की दो डोज लगनी बहुत जरूरी है ही पॉइंटेड आउट दैट इंडिया इज वैक्सीनेटिंग थ्री करोड़ पीपल इन इज फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन मिस्टर मोदी एडेड दैट इन द सेकंड फेज थर्टी करोड़ पीपल विल बी वैक्सीनेटेड दूसरे चरण में हमें इसको तीस करोड़ की संख्या तक ले जाना है जो बुजुर्ग हैं जो गंभीर बीमारी से ग्रस्त हैं उन्हें वो अगले चरण वाले चरण में टीका लगेगा आप कल्पना कर सकते हैं 30 करोड़ की आबादी से ऊपर के दुनिया के सिर्फ तीन ही देश हैं खुद भारत चीन और अमेरिका और कोई भी देश ऐसा नहीं है जिनकी आबादी इनसे ज्यादा हो इसलिए भारत का टीकाकरण अभियान इतना बड़ा है और इसलिए ये अभियान भारत के सामर्थ्य को दिखाता है और मैं देशवासियों को एक और बात कहना चाहता हूं हमारे वैज्ञानिक हमारे एक्सपर्ट्स जब दोनों मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन की सुरक्षा और प्रभाव को लेकर आश्वस्त हुए तभी उन्होंने इसके इमरजेंसी उपयोग की अनुमति दी है इसलिए देशवासियों को किसी भी तरह के प्रोपेगेंडा अफवाहें दुष्प्रचार से बचकर रहना है The Prime Minister praised those scientists who had been involved in making the vaccine against corona for the past several months. Aaj wo vaigyanik vaccine research se jude aneko log vishesh rup se prashamsa ke hakdar hain jo beete kai mahino se corona ke khilaf vaccine banane mein jute the din raat jute the na unhone tyohar dekha hai 
न उन्होंने दिन देखा है न उन्होंने रात देखी आमतौर पर एक वैक्सीन बनाने में बरसों लग जाते हैं लेकिन इतने कम समय में एक नहीं दो दो मेड इन इंडिया वैक्सीन तैयार हुई है इतना ही नहीं कई और वैक्सीन पर भी काम तेज गति से चल रहा है ये भारत के सामर्थ्य भारत की वैज्ञानिक दक्षता भारत के टैलेंट का जीता जागता सबूत है मिस्टर मोदी सेड इंडियन वैक्सीन मत चीपर देन फॉरेन वैक्सीन बट आर इक्वली गुड ये भारतीय वैक्सीन विदेशी वैक्सीनों की तुलना में बहुत सस्ती है और इनका उपयोग भी उतना ही आसान है विदेश में तो कुछ वैक्सीन ऐसी हैं जिसकी एक डोज पांच हजार रूपया तक में है और जिसे माइनस सेवेंटी डिग्री तापमान में फ्रिज में रखना होता है वहीं भारत की वैक्सीन ऐसी तकनीक पर बनाई गई हैं जो भारत में बरसों से ट्राइड और टेस्टेड है ये वैक्सीन स्टोरेज से लेकर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन तक भारतीय स्थितियों और परिस्थितियों के अनुकूल है यही वैक्सीन अब भारत को कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई में निर्णायक जीत दिलाएगी इस इंडिया वैक्सीन एंजॉय ग्लोबल क्रेडिबिलिटी बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड The Prime Minister said scientists gave nod to the two made in India vaccines after being sure of their effects and asked people to not heed rumors and propaganda. Bharat ke vaccine vaigyani hamara medical system Bharat ki prakriya ki pure vishwa mein bahut vishwasnita hai aur pehle se hai humne ye vishwas apne track record se hasil kiya hai. Mere pyare deshwasiyo har Hindustan is baat ka garv karega कि दुनिया भर के करीब 60 प्रतिशत बच्चों को जो जीवन रक्षक टीके लगते हैं वो भारत में ही बनते हैं भारत की सख्त वैज्ञानिक प्रक्रियाओं से ही होकर के गुजरते हैं भारत के वैज्ञानिकों को और वैक्सीन से जुड़ी हमारी विशेषज्ञता पर दुनिया का ये विश्वास मेड इन इंडिया कोरोना वैक्सीन में और मजबूत होने वाला है Mr Modi highlighted the need to have two doses of corona vaccine between the first and the second doses a gap of about 1 month will be kept ek dose le liya aur fir bhul gaye aisa galti mat karna aur jaisa experts keh rahe hain pehli aur dusri dose ke beech lagbhag 1 mahine ka antaral bhi rakha jayega aapko ye bhi yaad rakhna hai कि दूसरी डोज लगाने के दो हफ्ते बाद ही आपके शरीर में कोरोना के विरुद्ध जरूरी शक्ति विकसित हो पाएगी इसलिए टीका लगते ही आप असावधानी बरतने लगे मास्क निकाल कर रख दें दो गज की दूरी भूल जाए ये सब मत करिएगा मैं प्रार्थना करता हूं मत करिएगा The Prime Minister gave the mantra of "Dabai bhi, kadai bhi," and requested people to not make the mistake of taking off the mask and maintaining social distancing even after getting the first dose. अब हमें नया प्राण लेना है. Dabai bhi, kadai bhi. Dabai bhi, kadai bhi. आप सभी स्वस्थ रहें. इसी कामना के साथ इस टीकाकरण अभियान के लिए पूरे देश को बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं देता हूं देश के वैज्ञानिकों का रिसर्चर्स का लैब में जुड़े हुए सब लोगों का जिन्होंने पूरे साल एक ऋषि की तरह अपने लैब में जीवन खपा दिया और ये वैक्सीन देश और मानवता को दी है मैं उनको भी विशेष रूप से अभिनंदन करता हूँ उनका आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ He said India's fight against COVID-19 has been one of self-confidence and self-reliance. Mr Modi got emotional while talking about the hardships faced by the healthcare and frontline workers during the pandemic. He said the whole world is today accepting the manner in which India has dealt with the pandemic. Arthavyavastha ki recovery mein bhi Bharat duniya mein aage nikal raha hai. Bharat un gine chune deshon mein hai 
जिसने मुश्किल के बावजूद दुनिया के 150 से ज्यादा देशों में जरूरी दवाएं और जरूरी मेडिकल सहायता पहुंचाई पैरासिटामोल हो हाइड्रोक्सी क्लोरोक्वीन हो टेस्टिंग से जुड़ा सामान हो भारत ने दूसरे देश के लोगों को भी बचाने की हर संभव कोशिश की आज जब हम अपनी वैक्सीन बना ली है तब भी भारत की तरफ दुनिया आशा और उम्मीद की नजरों से देख रही है हमारा टीकाकरण अभियान जैसे जैसे आगे बढ़ेगा दुनिया के अनेक देशों को हमारे अनुभव का लाभ मिलेगा ही सेड इंडिया ऑल्सो सेट द एग्जाम्पल इन फ्रंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड हाउ सेंटर एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स लोकल बॉडीज गवर्नमेंट एंड सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन वर्क बेटर बाई यूनाइटिंग Mr Modi said India was amongst the first countries in the world to start screening passengers at its airports January 17th 2020 was the date when India released its first advisory our correspondent reports health minister dr harshvardhan joined the doctors and potential vaccine beneficiaries at aims delhi this morning to participate in the launch of the vaccine drive a sanitation worker became the first person to receive covid-19 vaccine jab at aims AIMS director Randeep Guleria Dr VK Paul of Niti Aayog were among those who received the vaccine jab Speaking to the media on the occasion Dr Harshvardhan said India's fight against COVID-19 will be successful with people's participation Ek saal se Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji ke netritv mein hum sab COVID ke khilaf lad rahe hain और लड़ते लड़ते जंग सफलता की ओर बढ़ रही है भारत के लोगों के मदद से जिन्होंने ट्रायल्स में भी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट किया डॉक्टरों की मदद से इंडस्ट्री की मदद से भारतीय वैक्सीन देश के अंदर उपलब्ध हुई है और ये वैक्सीन हमारी कोविड के खिलाफ जंग में एक संजीवनी का काम करेगी कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव इज अंडर वे इन डेली Talking exclusively to AI News, Nodal Office of COVID-19 Vaccination Program of Delhi State Cancer Institute, Dr. Pragya Shukla said that all the standard operating protocol have been adhered to for smooth rollout of the COVID-19 vaccination drive. ये बहुत लंबा चला है तैयारी का वो उसके बाद हम लोगों ने एकदम स्ट्रिक्टली एडेयर किया है जो भी हमको दिया गया था गाइडलाइन और उसको फॉलो किया एक प्री वैक्सीनेशन रूम बना वेटिंग जिसको वेटिंग रूम कहते हैं उसमें घुसने से पहले रजिस्ट्रेशन हुआ आईडी चेक हुई उसके बाद फिर अंदर हम गए कोविन पे हमारा रजिस्ट्रेशन हुआ और आई चेक हुई उसके बाद वैक्सीन लगी और वैक्सीन के बाद हमें हाफ एन आवर ऑब्जर्वेशन में रखा गया अगर हमें कोई दिक्कत होती तो उसको रिपोर्ट करना था जिसके लिए कि पूरा एक एडवर्स इवेंट के मैनेजमेंट का रूम बना हुआ है जिसमें सारी एन एफ के लिए दवा ऑक्सीजन व्हील चेयर स्ट्रेचर सब कुछ है Today 100 frontline workers who administered COVID-19 vaccine Covishield in the Delhi State Cancer Institute. Now we go live to our correspondent Bhupender Singh for further details. Bhupender how is the vaccination drive going on? uh where in vaccination program uh, started at uh, 11 o'clock uh, the first jab of uh, vaccine uh, that is covid shield was given to dr pragya shukla who is a nodal officer of the whole vaccination program of the of the institute uh, elaborate arrangements have been made uh, for the successful roll out of vaccination uh, and vaccination center uh, waiting rooms have been made in the centers uh, talking to air news dr shukla said that a uh, vaccination drive is underway as per the standard operating protocol and in the first phase covid vaccine will be given to frontline health workers and daily 100 health professional will receive the vaccine uh, after 28 days they will receive the second dose and uh, after the second dose they will receive the digital certificate okay right thank you bhupender for the update in uttar pradesh the vaccination drive is going on smoothly in all the 75 districts The vaccination started on time and there is no report of any untoward situation from any place more from our lucknow correspondent
डॉक्टर्स मेडिकल सुप्रिंटेंडेंट चीफ मेडिकल ऑफिसर्स एज वेल एज अदर हेल्थ वर्कर्स वर द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट वैक्सीनेटेड इन डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट द वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव इन स्टेट इज गोइंग ऑन स्मूथली एट थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन सेंटर वेर थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड पीपल विल बी वैक्सीनेटेड टूडे ऑन एन एवरेज हंड्रेड पीपल आर बींग वैक्सीनेटेड एट वन सेंटर एंड देर इज नो रिपोर्ट ऑफ एनी अन टू वर्ड सिचुएशन एट एनी प्लेस इन लखनऊ डॉक्टर सूर्यकांत द हेड ऑफ पलमोनरी मेडिसिन डिपार्टमेंट वॉज अमंग द फर्स्ट वन टू गेट वैक्सीनेटेड इन प्रयागराज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन न्यूरोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेडिकल कॉलेज डॉक्टर प्रभात सेड आफ्टर वैक्सीनेशन एंड कम्पलीशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन पीरियड दैट ही फील्स कम्पलीटली फिट एंड एडवाइज पीपल टू नॉट टू पे हीट टू द रूमर्स इन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी कंस्टिट्युएंसी वाराणसी वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव इज गोइंग ऑन स्मूथली एट सिक्स प्लेसेज एट दीन दयाल उपाध्याय डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल इन वाराणसी द फर्स्ट वैक्सीन वॉज गिवन टू सी एम एस डॉक्टर वी के शुक्ला इन डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट यूनियन मिनिस्टर्स एंड स्टेट मिनिस्टर्स इनोग्रेटेड द वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव सुशील चंद्र तिवारी ए आई आर न्यूज लखनऊ COVID vaccination drive has also started at 167 places in Rajasthan. Our correspondent reports that Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot launched the state level program from his residence. The first dose of vaccine was given to principal of Sawai Mansingh Medical College Jaipur Dr Sudhir Bhandari after vaccination Dr Bhandari told that the vaccines made in country are completely safe principals of other medical colleges and medical officers in district played a leading role in the vaccination work by getting the first dose of vaccine in the first phase more than 4 lakh 90000 health workers will be vaccinated district level officers have have been appointed for vaccination sessions monitoring jitendra divedi aiar news jaipur in maharashtra the main vaccination drive was launched in covid care center at bandra kurla complex in mumbai in the presence of chief minister uddhav thakre our mumbai correspondent filed this report Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre said that the launching of COVID vaccine can be termed as the revolutionary step in the life of Mumbaiers and in the state. He thanked all the Corona warriors who led this fight against the global pandemic. At the same time, he also reminded the people to continue the disciplined lifestyle with COVID-19 guidelines till the end of the pandemic. In Jalna, Health Minister Rajesh Tope launched the vaccination drive and expressed happiness over the smooth process of vaccination without any adverse events in the drive. The beneficiaries also expressed satisfaction and sense of security. After After receiving the first dose of the vaccine, the drive began in the presence of Water Resources Minister Jayan Patil in Islampur in Sangli district. Industry Minister Subhash Desai launched the drive in Aurangabad. PWD Minister Eknath Shinde was present in Solapur to launch the vaccination drive. Shailesh Patil, AR News, Mumbai. As a part of the nationwide program, Puducherry Chief Minister Narayan Sami launched the COVID-19 vaccination drive in the Rajiv Gandhi Women and Child Hospital here today morning. More from a Puducherry correspondent. Beneficiaries around 24000 including 9000 from central government institutes are to be immunized the campaign is conducted in eight centers throughout the ut in puducherry region this vaccines administered in indira gandhi government general hospital and the post graduate institute rajiv gandhi women and children's hospital indira gandhi medical college and research institute community health center in karikalam bakkam jipmer and government general hospitals in other regions of the union territory the immunization centers have a registration booth waiting area vaccination and observation room to monitor volunteers for any side effects health director dr mohan kumar said that those volunteers who are taking the vaccine would have to get another dose after 28 days to boost the immunization power chandra mohan yar news puducherry karnataka chief minister bs yadurappa has said that today is the biggest day in the history of india when the world's biggest covid-19 vaccination drive was launched by the prime minister speaking to the media in bangalore today after taking part in the launch of the vaccination drive the chief minister asked people not to heed to rumors on social media and take the vaccine without fear the covid vaccination drive is taking place with full swing across the 13 districts in andhra pradesh chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy has attended the inauguration of covid vaccination program at government hospital in vijayawada today the first covid vaccine has been given to a sanitation worker b pusha kumari In Tamil Nadu, Chief Minister Eda Padi Palani Sami inaugurated the COVID vaccination at the government Rajaji Hospital Madurai today. Our Chennai correspondent have more details. 
The first person to receive the vaccine was the president of the Government Doctors Association, Dr. Sendil, later followed by other doctors, nurses, health workers and the other frontline workers who had pre-registered. Vaccination is done at 166 centers in the state today. Each center will vaccinate 100 persons per day. Five health officials present in the center will handle the vaccination. A person receiving the first shot today will have to get the second shot after 28 days or 4 weeks, after which they have to be on guard for 42 days. In the first phase, 4,89,000 frontline workers will be administered the vaccine. 25,000 workers have been trained to administer the vaccine. Joy, AR News, Chennai. You are listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches world's largest COVID-19 vaccination drive in the country. India's fight against COVID-19 is one of the self-confidence and self-reliance, asserts Prime Minister. COVID-19 recovery rate improves to 96.56% in the country. 51st International Film Festival gets underway in Goa in a short while from now. And in cricket, at Stumps, India was 62 for 2 on day 2 of fourth cricket test match at Brisbane. Rain disrupts play. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at the rate AIR News Alerts. Hello, welcome to In West Bengal, the immunization drive is going on against COVID-19 pandemic since this morning along with other parts of the nation. A total number of 20,700 frontline warriors have been vaccinated today. More from a Kolkata correspondent. Lots of enthusiasm have been observed among the people of West Bengal regarding the largest vaccination drive of the world. After the Prime Minister virtually inaugurated the drive today, the process of administering doses of Covishield was started across the state. Around 100 health workers, including doctors and nurses, have been given the dose from 207 centers in Kolkata, along with five government medical colleges and hospitals and five urban primary health centers of the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. The drive is also being carried out from five private hospitals. Minister Firhad Hakim has visited SSK Medical College and Hospital in Kolkata to supervise the process. Modhu Parna Dharshudhuri for AIA News, Kolkata. Arunachal Pradesh Home Minister Bamang Felix launched the vaccine in the state from Tomo Riba Institute of Health and Medical Science at Nahar Lagoon. Speaking to media person, State Surveillance Officer Dr. L. Jampa said that vaccination in the first phase would be done only to healthcare and frontline workers. He said the state has over 23,000 health workers and over 7,000 army and paramilitary forces that would be covered in the first phase. Along with the rest of the country, Meghale joined the largest vaccination drive against COVID-19 today, where the chief minister termed it as a historic day. The launch of COVID-19 vaccination kicked off with the presence of Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma at the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, which is one of the vaccination sites. A total of 100 health workers will be vaccinated at the regional institute and 732 will be vaccinated in the remaining districts of Meghale. Assam has joined the rest of the country in giving COVID-19 vaccination. 1,90,000 health workers or COVID warriors are to get vaccinated in the first phase at 65 session sites. Chief Minister Sarbanand Sonowal was present at the Assam Medical College at Dibrugarh to monitor the vaccination process. On the other hand, Health Minister Himanta Biswasarma attended the vaccination program at Guwahati Medical College and Hospital. Several senior doctors of the state have been administered COVID vaccination in a confidence-building measure who are relentlessly serving in the war against the disease. After taking the vaccine, they said that vaccine is safe and people should take it without any fear in due course of time. The country's COVID-19 recovery rate has reached 96.56%. A total of 16,977 COVID patients recovered during the last 24 hours. The total number of recoveries has gone up to over 1 crore 1 lakh and 79,715. Health Ministry said the actual case load currently comprises only 2% of the total positive cases. Presently, the total number of active cases in the country is 2 lakh 11,033. 
In the past 24 hours, 15,158 new cases were reported, taking the total number of positive cases in the country to 1 crore 5 lakh 42,841. The ministry said currently India's case fatality rate is at 1.44%, which is one of the lowest globally. The UK is to close all travel corridors from Monday morning to protect against the risk of as yet unidentified new strains of COVID. Speaking at the Downing Street press conference, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson said it was vital to take extra measures now when day by day we are making such strides in protecting the population. The Prime Minister added that anyone flying into the country from overseas will have to show proof of a negative COVID test before setting off. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will interact with startups and address Prarambh Startup India International Summit through video conferencing this evening. The two-day summit is being organized by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. It is being organized as a follow-up of the announcement made by the Prime Minister at the 4th Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, BIMS Tech Summit, held in Kathmandu in August 2018, wherein India committed to host the BIMS Tech Startup Conclave. Curtains for 51st edition of International Film Festival of India, IFI, will open today in Goa. The inaugural event will be held at Shyama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium today. More from our Panaji correspondent. Union Minister Prakash Jaudekar and Kannada film star Sudeep will be present for the inaugural event of the IFI scheduled to commence at the 3 p.m. today. Amidst the pandemic, the festival will be different from the earlier editions. Limited physical audience at the inauguration, sitting capacity for the physical screenings made half, staggered timing, master classes going online manifest how IFI this year will be a cautious event. Emphasis is laid on to carry out the proper sanitization of the theatres. This year, there will not be open screenings. Country focus on the Bangladesh special section on the Goa or other features of the EP. Tushar Dado, AIR News, from Panji, Goa. In the Brisbane test, India was 62 for 2 in reply to Australia's first innings total of 369 stumps on a rain curtailed second day of the fourth and final test today. The entire third session was lost as wet outfield did not allow play to resume. Skipper Rahane with 2 and Pujara with 8 were at the crease. Rohit Sharma, 44, and Shubman Gill, 7, were dismissed by the Aussie bowlers. For Australia, Pat Cummings and Lyon backed one wicket each. Earlier, the visitors bowled out Australia for 369. All India Radio will broadcast the third day's play from 4.55 hours tomorrow. In Indonesia, a powerful earthquake has rocked Sulawesi Island, killing at least 42 people with more feared dead as rescuers searched for survivors. The 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck yesterday, just hours after an earlier small tremor. Hundreds of people were injured and thousands displaced by the quake. Indonesia has a history of devastating earthquakes and tsunamis, with more than 2,000 killed in a 2018 Sulawesi quake. Indonesian President Joko Widodo offered condolences to the victims, urging people to stay calm and for the authorities to step up search efforts. Now let us take a look at the weather update for today. National capital experienced dense fog in the morning. The minimum temperature was 6 degrees Celsius, while maximum will be around 20 degrees. Mumbai has clear sky. The city recorded a minimum temperature of 16 degrees, and the maximum temperature is likely to be around 30 degrees Celsius. Chennai is likely to witness partly cloudy sky. Temperature will vary between 24 and 30 degrees Celsius. Kolkata observed a minimum temperature of 14 degrees Celsius, and the maximum is likely to be around 24 degrees. In Srinagar, the minimum temperature was minus 8 degrees Celsius, while the maximum temperature will be around 7 degrees. Jammu is expected to have clear sky during the day, with temperature hovering between 6 and 19 degrees Celsius. Leh has partly cloudy sky. The minimum temperature was minus 12 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be around 0 0.6. Gilgit is expected to have mainly clear sky. The temperature will vary between minus 5 degrees and 11 degrees Celsius. In Muzaffarabad, the minimum temperature was 5 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be 21 degrees Celsius. The sky looks clear in the day. Dehradun has partly cloudy sky. The minimum temperature was 19 degrees Celsius, and the minimum temperature was 7 degrees Celsius, and the maximum will be around 19 degrees Celsius. In Hyderabad, the minimum temperature was 17 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be around 30 degrees. Itanagar will have partly cloudy sky, minimum temperature was 10 degrees Celsius, while the maximum will be around 23 degrees Celsius. Kohima has clear sky, and Guwahati experienced fog or mist in early morning. 
And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches world's largest COVID-19 vaccination drive in the country. India's fight against COVID-19 is one of self-confidence and self-reliance, asserts Prime Minister. COVID-19 recovery rate improves to 96.56% in the country. 51st International Film Festival gets underway in Goa in a short while from now. And in cricket, it stumps India with 62 for 2 on day 2 of the 4th cricket test match at Brisbane. Rain disrupts play. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com and news on AIR app. And with that, we end the midday news. <laughs> 